Hi there, in this video we're going to look at this scan gauge product. We're going to show you how to install and set it up, and how to use it, and what we can do with it. So what is a scan gauge, and what's in the box? So let's have a look. So we've got a user manual, a quick start guide, and we've got the actual scan gauge unit there. That's what it looks like. You've got your four main buttons. The red one here is a home screen, or the red um, circled one. And then we've got some Ethernet ports. Got a card, some Velcro strips too. And then we've got the actual cable itself. So what is a scan gauge unit? So this is an interface, it's a display between yourself and the vehicle. So you can read out things like engine information, um, engine temperature, for example, battery voltage, and so forth. Uh, you can program your own commands in there. Um, so you just go to the scan gauge website and you can have a look. You can also do data scanning, which is one of the important things that I got this unit. So if your engine indicator light ever comes on, you can actually diagnose it with this unit. And you can set it up to do other things. So today in this video, I'll show you how to set it up. So install it and do a basic setup, how to use the gauges and how to program the X gauge. And also we'll do a data scan. So we'll trigger a fault in the engine and see how this picks it up and works. So why the scan gauge unit? Now on the market, you can get a number of OBD um, units. So I've got a cheap $13 one here, a slightly more expensive $50 one here, and the scan gauge is actually $250. So why have I gone with something like this? What I found is with these Bluetooth modules, when you connect it to the vehicle, it seems to work okay. They cause an automatic transmission fault, believe it or not. And what that does, it actually prevents the torque converter. So I'm just running a six-speed auto, so it's an Azen six-speed. It prevents it from actually locking up on the freeway. So it's actually working the transmission harder and hotter. And all because of um, these Bluetooth modules. So I'm not too sure what's exactly interfering but something is. Now, for me, that's happened on my previous car, which was a five-speed auto as well, and again now with this car, I haven't read about any such problems with the scan gauge unit. Now, this is a very well-established product. It's also a very well-supported product. So scan gauge release firmware updates, they release these custom commands, or they call them X gauge commands, um, for different vehicle types, which I'll show you how to do that for this specific vehicle after. And it's a very good, high quality product, and it's made in the USA. All right, so let's install it and do a basic setup. So I've just unwound that cable, and we're gonna use the back port. You can use a side port as well, it doesn't really matter. Um, it'll just work a bit easier like that for this vehicle and then you grab this plug here and then you locate the OBD port of your vehicle which in my case is just there so we'll just plug it in like that there we go and you can see our unit's already powered on so it actually uses the car battery to power on and um, it doesn't actually have any batteries of its own, which is a good thing. So I'm just going to temporarily mount it um, just here on my dash. So we've turned the ignition on the vehicle, and we've got four different options. We've got a gauge option where it reads out some data. We've got... Oh, okay, so as you press these buttons, you actually scroll through different values. So that's pretty handy. So to go back to that home screen, you just press this button. You can go into more, for example. You can calibrate. Fuel usage done. Go into scan. No codes found, so we'll trigger a code after. All right, so let's set up our units. So we go into more, and then we go into setup. Now distance in kilometers is correct, fuel units in liters correct, temperature units in degrees Celsius correct, pressure units as PSI, you can change that 
as you wish, but I'd prefer PSI. Engine size 3 litres is correct. Tank size 65, yep. So we can adjust that. In this case, that's 65. Fuel type diesel A, correct. Currency in dollars, correct. Go edit. Update rate normal, which is what we want. Speed is correct. Uh, that's fine. Sleep event, no. Map or boost. So we want boost in this case. So we'll change that to boost. Then we go back. Cool. All right, so let's change the actual display color now. So we go to more. We go display here. A lamp off low and high. Okay. And then we go across to the color light blue, blue, green, blue, green, red, violet, amber. We'll just leave it as light blue because I like that. And then we can also make our own color as well, which is cool. All right, so now we're going to cover the gauge part of this scan gauge, which is one of the handier things um, for myself. So we're just going to gauge and you'll see values start appearing. Now this coolant water temperature is not actually correct and scan gauge have acknowledged that. So they release us a X gauge command for that. So we'll do that after. So because I don't have the actual engine on, it's just switching off after about 12 seconds. So I'll just play around with some of these values. So liters per hour RPM. All right, so let's turn the engine on. And you'll see now the RPM is appearing. Boost, again, we don't have any boost. Um, unfortunately for this make of vehicle, the manufacturer hasn't released that information, so that's okay. Speed, RPM, average fuel, I'm guessing, horsepower, voltage, so 13.9 volts. So now if I... So now I'm just going to use the X gauge feature of this um, scan gauge unit and we're going to program in three different things. So it'll be the coolant water temperature, it'll be the exhaust gas temperature and it'll also be the automatic transmission fluid temperature. All right, so to program in the X gauge, we just go into more and then more again and then we go across to X gauge and we go edit. Now the number in the top right hand corner is just how many um, commands we can program in so we'll just start at zero because we haven't programmed in anything and we go edit so in here we can start adding different values for example by just using these plus arrows and go across so this is the txd value now all these values you can get from the scan gauge website so here on my phone so in this vehicle it's a 2019 isuzu mux so there's the different x gauge commands there so we'll program those in all right so i've just added the egt so i'll just show you so that's the txd number rxf number the rxd number and the mth number and once you've saved it it saves so you can change the name as well once it's saved it's stored in the scan gauge unit so you don't have to redo it each time so we'll just continue on until we do all our x gauge commands all right so i've programmed in the x gauge commands so exhaust gas temperature which is 81 degrees automatic transmission fluid which is 48 degrees and coolant temperature which is 55. so i'll just speed up the engine a bit you can see the egts are going up which is correct So now we'll just have a look at the data scanning. So we'll press scan. No codes found. Um, that's good because we don't have any. No pending codes. No need to clear. All right, so let's actually trigger a code in the vehicle. Just in the engine bay, and here's our air cleaner, our air intake. And we're just going to disconnect this plug, which is the barometric pressure plug. So take it off like that. 
So now it's loose. So now that should trigger an engine warning lights and we should be able to pick up that code on the scan gauge. Start up the vehicle. Get an engine light up here. Yes, we do. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. So we go scan, one stored code. Let's have a look. P2228. Perfect. And that's all. So we can clear that. If we clear it, we haven't actually fixed the problem yet. So P2228. What we can do from that is, I'll just turn the engine off, is we can look that up and see exactly what that is. All right, so I've just done a quick Google search and you can see that P2228 relates to the barometric pressure sensor circuit low, which is exactly what we unplugged. So we're just gonna reconnect that barometric pressure plug like that. Now what I expect to happen is that lamp should still be on. Even though we fixed the problem, we need to still clear that code. So we'll just go scan, code, clear, and go clear. And then you'll see that engine lamp's gone off, so we'll just stop the engine, take the ignition keys out, put it back in, and confirm now that that lamp is well and truly gone. So it's been one day since I've had the scan gauge installed, and I've done a fair bit of driving today, probably about 200 kilometers, and that's been stop starting, so turning the engine on and off multiple times. And I can confirm that this scan gauge unit has worked flawlessly and it hasn't triggered any engine fault uh, lamps, which is fantastic. So the Bluetooth units, like I said before, they did. Um, so I found that the coolant temperature and the exhaust gas temperature, I'd entered some of the X gauge values wrong. Um, so I fixed that up and now it's working really well. Um, the coolant temperature I found during driving alternates between 82 and 95, which is correct for this particular vehicle. So it's a 2019 Isuzu MUX running a 3 litre 4JJ1 engine. And that's when the thermostat starts opening and is fully open by 95. The ATF, so that's the automatic transmission fluid temperature, which is 75 degrees now. Um, that reached up to about 100 degrees, I found in some of the driving. Uh, LOD, so engine load, which is 21% now, that went up to 99, so that's when I was uh, put the foot down uphill overtaking. And the EGTs, so exhaust gas temperature, which is now 131, um, that got up to about 350 during normal driving, which is um, good. And then on some of the more um, heavier engine driving, that went up to about 400. What will be interesting is when the car is doing a DPD burn is we should see that temperature go up to about 550, 600 degrees, maybe even more. I highly recommend these scan gauge units. Um, fantastic with engine data and also with um, diagnosing faults. So I hope you found this video informative. Don't forget to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel and feel free to leave your comments as well. Thanks for watching.